I will never let you let me leave, I promise I'm not lying. Go ahead, ask anybody who has seen me trying. I'm not going. If it seems like I did, I'm probably waiting outside. Such a stubborn man, you'll likely never meet another. When we have our family dinner, you can ask my mother. She's the best. You'll learn more about her on our family history test. I'm gonna do this right. Show you I'm not moving. Wherever you go, I won't be far to follow. I'm gonna love you so. Not quite. <laughs> Ha for everybody! Woo! I grew up an only child in the suburb of the city. Spent my days alone by living from the district kitty called Sardi. Sardi. I thought it was hilarious to call a cat a kind of fish. She played hard to get kissed and while she scratched me. What she was trying to say was, Oki, come and catch me. I learned quickly that perseverance stood between a cat and her new best friend, me. Oh, I'm gonna do this right. Show you I'm not moving. Wherever you go, I won't be far to follow. I'm gonna love you so. You'll learn what I already know. I'm loving means you're never, ever, ever get This comes at a point in the show when my character is at an all-time low. She's hit rock bottom and she's kind of reminiscing on the girl that she used to be. And Jenna, you're so cute! <laughs> Has everyone seen this tiny Jenna here? What a costume. How, Matilda, how old are you? How old are you? Three. Three. <laughs> Stop it! Okay. okay, so this is She Used To Be Mice. It's not simple to say the most days I don't recognize me that this shoes and the sacred that place and its patron. Attention, sweet center. I still remember that girl. She isn't perfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken. Oh, 
the song and they all let it all out and then I stop at the end and I really milk it, take more time. Um, at that point, you, someone usually coughs or sneezes, so it was quite nice. <laughs> that little three-year-old Matilda Jenner said, Should we, should we just quickly, 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 just quickly? Yeah, we need to get you on camera, really. Seriously, she does need the wig. Okay, so we've had tons and tons and tons of questions sent in. We've probably had getting close to a thousand questions sent in on various different things. So uh, we had to choose. Uh, obviously, a lot of them were uh, were repeated, um, but we've chosen we've chosen ones we like the best, basically, for these guys to answer. So uh, are you ready? Yes. yes? Um, what's the capital of? No, not really. Um, <laughs> what is your favourite thing about being a waitress? Oh God. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Next, no, it's good. Too many. So it's such a great, joyous place to be, and the part that I play, and I'm sure you feel the same. Yeah. They're just gifts. They're such lovely roles to play. The music is amazing. The cast are amazing. The fans are incredible. The theatre is beautiful. Everyone who works in the theatre, front of house, behind the stage, is just really cool. It's just like. I wish there was something hateful I could say to make it so I didn't like my job so much because I'm that person at the minute. I really love it. I can't wait to get there every day and it's amazing. Blake, anything to add? Uh, I mean, I can only echo the same things really. Um, that and just the fact that, you know, for me, Ogi is a part where you have, you, it, is a, it is very much a gift because, I mean, Lucy works incredibly hard. She basically never leaves the stage. Whereas with Ogi, you're not on for like the first 50 minutes, so I'm basically chilling in my dressing room reading comics. <laughs> and then come on, get lots of laughs because he's written so brilliantly and so funny. And then I also get to work with Ashley, who's fantastic as, as Dawn and really good fun. And everyone's just such a good laugh that it's one of those roles that you get kind of maximum impact 
for for actually not actually being on stage as much as you know, someone like Lucy and and uh, uh, David as Dr. Pometer and, and things like that. So it's a real kind of gift of a role, really. It's, I mean, it's fabulous, and it's. Um, I saw you two last week, and I adored it. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It was fantastic. Uh, right, what's your favourite lyric from the show? Uh... <laughs> Family audience. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that was literally that second that was not found. Um, my favourite lyric uh, is, I mean, it's definitely got to be in the bad idea reprise, which puts me in a bit of a difficult position. I would say, um, your, uh, you, well, your hormone levels are rising beautifully, Mrs. <laughs> I would say, I, I mean, I mean, it's tough because every single song, even the comedy songs, have got some real moments where you go, oh my god, that's so lovely, or she's just a genius, Sarah Bryce is a genius. Um, but I love She's Messy But She's Kind. Yeah, it's beautiful. And there's so many lines in that song that, depending on how I'm feeling that day, I'll be like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and everyone relates to them as well, so it's great. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous song. If you could play another role in the show, which would it be? Okay. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Your hands <laughs> off my heart. <laughs> Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> I, I make an excellent Lulu. Why don't I think Matilda would make an excellent yeah. Lulu? Please, 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 please. Oh, no. <laughs> Lulu's there. 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 Lulu's well, I, I, from, it sounds a bit weird, but I've, I've kind of done accents in uh, quite a few things before, so it's kind of something that you kind of... Well, I think once you kind of get an accent, it doesn't quite leave you. You always kind of have it in the back pocket, so it was just a case of kind of dusting it off and pulling it out again. That's a really boring answer, sorry, but that's just kind of how it is, I guess. Yeah, yeah I'll do the same. Um, I've been doing American accents since I first watched Annie. So my first American accent was really annoying. Like, oh, oh, what, 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 she, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Everything is like, nye, 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 nye. Uh, which probably is why I can belt, because that's where it goes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, I worked with dialect coach on this as well, because it's very specific. Um, but I, I really enjoy it, it feels really nice. Is there added pressure that you're working with yeah. some Americans though? Are there a couple of... Um, no, I think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it, it is a little bit, it is a little bit. Um, particularly actually because she is Southern. She yeah. does have a, that slight Southern drawl. Um, but it's helpful that yeah. they're around, mm. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they can tell you if you, if you, you know, Absolutely. If you stop on anything, yeah. Um, how different is acting on stage to on screen? <laughs> uh, it is different. I mean, ultimately, you're always just trying to tell the truth of whatever the character is in their situation. That never changes. But I think that, um, you know, you, 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 on screen, I think, to be honest, more than anything else, um, you there's just more pressure being on stage in some aspects because once, it's, once you're on, you're on. And if something goes wrong, as sometimes it does, you have to just model your way through it. Whereas, you know, you have multiple takes, hopefully, uh, <laughs> on a, a screen or, or film role. And also, the other thing is, is when you're comparing theatre to, to TV and film, is there's a lot of TV and film jobs where you have zero rehearsal whatsoever. You go in, you audition, and then two weeks later, you're on set just going, I hope this is okay, it's what I did in the audition. Um, Whereas with theatre and stuff, you, you have that extended rehearsal period where you can make mistakes, try stuff out, and try to get a more fully formed character, you know. So those are, I suppose, the, the big differences, I think. Great, great. Uh, who was your inspiration for acting when you were younger? Um, the girls in S Club 7. Anyone <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the Disney Channel. <laughs> like, seriously, though, because that's probably what I spent most of my time watching. Um, don't get me wrong, as you get a bit older, you start to take it seriously and, and go, oh, that's how you do that. Oh, that's really interesting. Those people are the classics. They're the Meryl Streep's of the world and the, the Julie Andrews for me and, like, the classic musical theatre kind of big dogs. Um, but um, nowadays, it's more, I love, I love an indie film, so I like to see someone doing something really raw and gritty, and uh, maybe that's why I like Jenna so much, because she's, like, she's so well, wrong a lot of the time, <laughs> yeah. but, you, but you, you never get to play that, so it's yeah. nice. Um, yeah. um, I, I think um, 
Uh, other than Lucy Jones. Um, uh, comedically, I think I was always a big Robin Williams fan, and yeah. that kind of turned into Jim Carrey and Mike Myers and uh, and Lee Evans as well. I, I loved his. When I was fourteen, I could probably recite his kind of Scotland stand-up verbatim. Really. Uh, I was that annoying guy. Um, um, but also, like I say, like when you get older, your kind of tastes change and, 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 and things. And um, I remember being kind of in my kind of mid-teens, just absolutely adoring Gary Oldman. I mean. And that was that was before everyone else was loving Gary Oldman because he grew up down the road cool. from me. Yeah, when it was cool, <laughs> it's still cool. He's brilliant. Yeah. But uh, you know, like you watch like he's in True Romance for ten minutes and absolutely steals the movie. Um, I hope Matilda's not seen True Romance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give it a few years. But, uh, but you know, he's he's just one of those people that just completely transforms and, and stuff. So yeah, I've always kind of had a big thing for Gary. Yeah, he is very cool. And he's cool yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's got cooler from being in Harry Potter, obviously. Obviously, obviously yeah. Obviously. Uh, okay, what job would you do if you weren't an actor? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> there's a lot of thought. Um, jobs that I did before acting may help. Uh, I cleaned hotel rooms. I had paper rounds. Were you a waitress and did you bake? Oh God, yeah. I think, I think all the waitresses. I think I've been fired as a waitress twice. Though, so. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't happen at this one. Um, what else have I done? I've like given out flyers and tried to get money from people for charities and loads of stuff. Um, none of those things would I want to do if I was having a career change. I, I like what we do though. I'd probably try and do something else to do with it, like yeah. organise events or produce theatre or teach. Or I love, I do love to teach. Yeah. Teach. That would have been That's an easy thing to say, wouldn't it? <laughs> it wouldn't have been such an interesting answer, though. No. It well, would have been very or short. Or long-winded, <laughs> if you will. Blake? Um, no, I... Uh... Honestly, I honestly don't know. I never really had a, a backup plan, which you know, now that I'm older and I've got kids and stuff, is quite a scary thought, really. But at the time, I was just kind of like, no, no, this is what I'm going to do, and, and uh, there was kind of a kind of blinkered view of, you know, like the, the, I'm just going to keep going for that, and that's it. Um, but in terms of kind of like weird jobs I've had beforehand, I. Uh, I was sticking labels on the insides of buses between the hours of 8 p.m. and 4 a.m. Oh. All those kind of security, the ones that you get inside the bus, the security <laughs> ones, like, watch out for these bags that they left on the road. I was sticking those up. So if there was any that were a bit kind of skewed to the side or had air bubbles in them, that was probably me because I did not care about security. Um, <laughs> and uh, I worked in Madame Tuchel's at the uh, scare chamber. So, and the novelty for scaring people does wear off pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm uh, sure. It starts off really fun and then after I go, ah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, again, I would never want to go back to, to anything else. I've just always wanted to do this and I'm very, very lucky and fortunate that I get to do this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, final question. Why should people come and see Waitress? Um, well, I mean, my main reason for coming to see Waitress would be that it is very, very funny. Uh, I mean, the music in it is brilliant. I, I kind of take that as a given. You've all heard this one sing, so you know it's all right. Um, so, but it's genuinely really funny. The script is really well written. There's loads of really funny moments in it. And that is one of the things that a lot of people that have come to see the show have said to me afterwards was, I didn't expect it to be as funny as it was. You know, and, and they really are kind of pleasantly surprised by that. So I think if you want a good night out, great music, and to have a really good laugh as well. This is the show for you. Yeah, no, I, was a bit, I mean the same. I've had so many people say to me, I didn't expect to laugh so much, and I didn't expect to be so moved. It's so heartwarming, and you really care about all the characters. Yeah, it because it's so well written through song and through the book, It's you just care about everyone. Everyone's very real, very natural. People make their mistakes, and you learn why some people in the real world may have made mistakes in your life through watching someone else's story. Uh, and it's an amazing cast, really, really strong cast. And I just can't imagine a demographic of person that would not enjoy it. And there you go. There you go. So <laughs> thank you for seeing the show. And so we will put a link on this post when we, when we post it so that people can buy tickets online. Buy the tickets. From us, obviously from us. From us. Um, but for, for now, thank you so much, guys, for coming in. It's been thank an you. absolute pleasure to see you. And um, go down and see Waitress. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>